Good morning, the people out there. Uh, uh, Kim's here, because he drove from Le Turin down there in Hungary. No. <laughs> you know, Italy and all this Italy. with the... Uh, and the it's hand crazy. signals, and we have all the hand signals now. Apparently, that's one there, too. Um, <laughs> and uh, he wrote me and said, look, the book's done. And you're like, what book? Well, uh, at uh, two months, two months since, I have a lisp, two months, two months since reactor, uh, we m met and looked at a piece of cardboard that kind of had that thing on it, <laughs> but it didn't really have too much in it yet. That's right. And now it has stuff in it yet. So Kim's the guy. We'll get to him in a sec. Ignore him for now. I'm talking. Um, who wrote ugh, these big ass coffee table masterpieces um, about synthy things, uh, modular stuff. And when I looked at it, I was very impressed because it's. I thought it was more like a, here's a history of synthesizers and uh, this is what they looked like and this is where the guy who made it goes to the bathroom. But no. These are actually instructional, big time. There's, these are great lessons on everything that has to do with any kind of element in the synthesizer. So uh, I really like the idea of these, and apparently I can keep them, which is cool. Because I had a great book on teaching synth, and uh, some guy stole it. So now I have a greater one. But you're not into this. You're into pedals. So this will be available in a few days from now, probably whenever this video is now. Um, so uh, now you, tell people about the book while I drink coffee. Oh, I need coffee too. Well, this <laughs> is just a review copy. So the book is uh, because we have a crush on pedals, just like you, Henning. Uh, and it's a, no, I don't, I don't know if I have a crush on pedals. I just, I, 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 I do them. Yeah, okay. That's what I do. It's my, it's my job. Okay. <laughs> so, but this book has like more than 800 pedals in it. It's, it's actually, uh, we were quite astonished that we got to that number. But it's about, uh, you know, doing creative music with effects, stump boxes. And it's a book like the other ones that I wanted to do because it really wasn't there. Uh, and not in color and not with, you know, contemporary pedals and vintage pedals. And also with all these interviews, we have 50 interviews with people, artists and makers. So it said, uh, well, Leslie, show the book. <laughs> we're prepared. We have five cameras on the book because we're decadent. Um, foreword by Steve Vai. That's probably one you want to get to write a foreword. Yeah. Um, you don't want Bonamassa there who will tell you nobody needs pedals. <laughs> foreword by Bonamassa and it'll be pedals are useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> no, uh, I think that's that's a great representative to have for a forward. So let's uh, let's open this and look at it. I'm sorry, there's things going bing. Wait, I can debing it. I will turn on the debingalizer. Here we go. Um, so let's find that forward. There's the man. Way cool. And you have a lot of people collaborating on this, right? Yeah. And the main co-author is uh, Scott Harper, also behind the Knobs channel, the YouTube channel Knobs Demos. So this is like this. Okay. <laughs> That's great. It's almost like that, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I can actually do this with too many in here because I sold a bunch. I would probably have way over 800 pedals if I hadn't sold. Uh, probably. We could have used I mean, your collection. <laughs> it's, it, it's a decent collection now. Yeah. Look, it's that guy. It's the magpie guy. Yeah, so we're trying to ease people into it, you know, explaining what's inside, what's outside on the pedal. And then intertweening all these interviews. Josh Scott is definitely a good guy to have for a book like that. I just filmed that. That's brand new. You are mm. up to freaking date. Yep. So here we have, um, well, it says modeling, but this is also speaker modeling. Yep. Uh, way cool. Great pictures. But yeah, this is what I like about your books. They're not just historical. This is actually mm. giving you... A good idea of the age-old question, where should my pedal go? You know? Exactly. Where does time go? Behind everything. And then we have some creative on the next, there's some creative tips. I think we have over a hundred tips in this book, actually. So 
it was all about also, you know, kind of deviating from what's normal. Knowing what's, you know, the traditional way of doing it and then kind of going Yes, Andy. Um, yeah, and looper switches. I mean, that's a huge topic. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone's got more Looper Switcher videos than, than I do because those are complicated <laughs> to do. And I've got a new one downstairs from Harley Benton uh, that I have to do. Um, that's relatively new. Uh, I think I still have a route box. AB Mix. A See, I, I've got everything. It's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have used your pedals. <laughs> yeah. It's literally standing over there. Um, so what, what about the frequency splitters? Frequency splitters? Yeah, down on the left. Down and, oh, Those I've reviewed nice. this, which is pretty cool. It's just very big. Um, and I didn't like the way in the direction of where the knobs went, but that's a great pedal uh, to do something very specific. Mm -hmm. And we just, uh, look at that, what the? We just talked about that. Gonna run, gonna run, bam, there we go. <laughs> which is actually a really cool pedal that um, I'm gonna buy, because Electro Harmonics doesn't know I exist, so, uh, I have this here from Toman for a Toman video, and I'm actually really gonna buy this because this is damn cool. And it's in the book. There's um, a lot of cool stuff in the book, actually. There's a VFE, very cool. And then the Beardman. I'm, I'm seeing loads of interesting stuff, and I'm only on page 40. How many pages do we have here? <laughs> 376. Pages. Whoa. So, so, power supplies. Yep. So I've had people sit down with the book after five minutes. They say, I learned a lot already. <laughs> you know? I, I can That's actually awesome. see that. It's, um, and again, it's, it's less of a, this is the, uh, the history of the pedal. And what was the first fuzz, which I'm pretty sure you have in here some, somehow too. Yeah. Uh, but there are these guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure, go back to me. I'm pretty sure that if you are unsure about pedals or you yeah. want to build your pedal, actually, if you want to build your pedal board, I can almost guarantee you that this will help you. Definitely. This will help yeah. you make decisions. I just saw patch cables, what to pay attention to. This mm -hmm. pretty much replaces what I do. Just not, <laughs> I'm sorry, just, 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 wait a second. <laughs> just not quite as, as in depth when it comes to each individual pedal. And mm -hmm. where are the sweaters? The sweaters. Oh yeah, we don't do sweaters. See, I mean, yeah, come on. I mean, yeah. we did a lot of coffee, but not sweaters. I'm still yeah. valid. Yeah, yeah. I'm, right. I still Definitely. have a job. Oh, and Definitely. it's a freaking book, and yeah. print is dead. Yeah. So there you go. No, it's not. <laughs> and that's actually the heading. That's the point. It's not a replacement, especially not for you. It's really not a replacement. It's an addition to all the great content that's out there. Because it's really nice to have a book, you know, lying beside your pedal board or your guitar or whatever. And you can get an overview really quickly and just dive in and get some new ideas. Well, exactly what... Go back to the book, Leslie. Exactly what's on this page. You're looking mm. for multi-effects. And you're getting a page with a short description of all of them. Or, or of a lot of them. Which, in my videos, I deal with this thing only right now yeah, yeah if i did a video of let's compare these multi especially with multi effects oh my god that's a six hour video right there <laughs> yeah. how would you even do this how would you compare multi effects because what mm -hmm. would you compare would you only compare one algorithm would you compare two or three this is in my style a very very in-depth video one that just doesn't make sense also mm -hmm. you need a picture and a description you don't really need the real pedal. Exactly. I will need to get the companies to send me all of these, which yeah. is just sourcing this kind of thing for a video is mm. a lot of work, which a lot of people don't quite understand. Um, and sourcing it for the book was really a lot of work also. Oh, uh, we had I, a thousand pedals, I think, to start with. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, but as I, as I said, you have to get the information. Mm. Actually, having the product, of course, you would love to have the product there. Yeah. But um, you're not going to go and talk to all these companies to get a thousand pedals delivered to your door. Oh, no, no. Which I assume, and I know these fuckers, you know, they might want them back. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. What, what we do is something very different. But I really like what, what I'm seeing so far. I, I don't even know. It feels to me it's already covered everything on the. 66 pages that I just looked at. <laughs> so what else is in there? There's so much. I mean, every chapter, this is just the introduction you're looking at, actually. What? The, yeah. <laughs> so the, we have, you know, the chapters by effects type. 
So you can go into the gain base stuff with boost, fuzz, and distortion, whatever. Effects, and, um, boards, this is cool. The dynamics and frequency, time based effects, and modulation. And we round off with all the, the pitch based effects also. And um, there's, so, of course, gonna... a timeline in the back of the book just to round it That's off. That's Sophia. She's cool. Yeah. She just uh, got a, a, like a work permit in Germany or something. Yeah. What does she want to do here? Closer to you, I guess. Oh. <laughs> and the sweaters. <laughs> and the sweaters. She wants the sweaters. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And you can see that there's a lot of different companies also, probably. Kind of companies. Everything from bars to electroharmonics and one-man companies, uh, Royce pedals and, you know, Alexander pedals, Chase Bliss, whatever. Oh, it's, so yeah, it's, it's, it's all in categories. So the uh, there's the plasma pedal. Mm. So pretty much what you could use as that is like a table of contents for what I do. You could do, you could say, Henning, could you please do the pedal on page 255? <laughs> That's not what I mean. I mean, <laughs> let's say you are in the market for a an overdrive. Yeah. Uh, we all. Now, how do I how do I know what's out there? Where exactly. do I have a good overview of what overdrives are out there? If you go to YouTube and type in overdrive pedals, that's not going to work. Mm. If you want to go to my channel, and there isn't a Henning overdrive pedal playlist, which maybe someone should make, but I don't have it. Mm. So having the book in front of you, learning about exactly. the, the stuff, learning about what you should pay attention to and all that stuff. And then you're like, well, I want to hear this one, this one, this one. And let's see what's out there. And then you find Pete Thorne, you find Rabia, you find that pedal show, you find me. Yeah. And then you actually go dig deeper and get into some sounds. Yeah. Uh, so as a... As a, showing what's out there. Yeah, as a so, reference point, because yeah. that's exactly what I'm seeing right here. I'm like, oh, noise gates, okay. These are out there. You don't yeah. have the cock blocker in there, want to bet? No cock blocker. We probably don't have everybody's favorite pedal, because there's so many. But it's about showing the different concepts, for example, you know, different kinds of distortion, different kinds of, you know, you know, where do they come from, actually. But also explaining how things work, like visually. Uh, basically, you know, I'm a designer by trade, so that's what I'm doing, trying to explain it visually for people. Um, and I think it, it really, it makes it more interesting. Uh, it, it's you can't it's hear it. beautifully <laughs> done, and it is Thanks. in depth. That was a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Holy crap. It took a lot of coffee. So, um, as a reviewer, my only critique of this book is, so far, that um, tough to read on the crapper. Tough to read on the... On the crapper. When you're on the toilet, which is where you would have the time to read this. Yeah, yeah. It is not a toilet-compatible format. Out. Yeah, you'll never get out. Yeah, but I mean, look look at the weight. Like, is this toilet compatible? No, it, but it's a self-defense tool also. <laughs> I mean, you can kill a man with those books. Almost two kilos. <laughs> it's definitely what they would call a coffee table book. Yeah, yeah. It's the coffee table book for pretty much every... Studio. Every studio, mm. uh, every practice room, every uh, every household that has a guy or girl in it with the pedal board. Yeah. Also, if you don't have a pedal board yet, if just getting your first pedal. Yeah, but who's doing that? But but realistically, uh, first of all, we all have pedals. But yeah. if you're getting your first pedal, is your first investment a probably not mm. inexpensive book? Probably wouldn't probably, be. Your no. first pedal might be a Behringer for 25 bucks. Yeah. So for your second pedal, maybe. <laughs> maybe you your book in fourth. Between. <laughs> if you have three pedals and you're like, now I want to build a board, where do I go? Mm. Then you buy the book. So let's talk Let's talk money. How much is it? I think we're going to, uh, it's 450 Danish kroners. And that <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Why being, you know, ordinary. <laughs> so uh, in, I think in, yeah, do you have a... Uh, Calculator? <laughs> you want me to so, look at XE and actually find out? Yeah, we could actually see. But it's, it's the same as the other books, uh, as the the uh, Patch and Sweep book. I think well, it's around 70 euros or something. Well, let me go to Toman Patch and Tweak. 6420. That's, of okay. course, a very... Oh, that's yeah. a serious light in my face. Look at that. It's The sun is the just sun coming is out. Coming up. Yeah, that's nice. sun will come it's out tomorrow. It's also still early, right? So that's why. Um... So, 
65, 70 bucks. Yes, that. Mm. I'm sorry, the lighting in here is suboptimal. Um, <laughs> look at the amps being. Uh, we never make videos this really early. Nice. No. <laughs> what time is it even? Before nine twenty. Oh, that's not. That's not early, is it? Well, for guitarists maybe. For guitarists maybe, yeah, and for yeah. making videos. Usually, I'm now writing yeah. emails and talking to brands or whatever in somewhere. Wow. Um, have you seen this? This is my favorite spread. Actually. Making modulation. Where is it? Where, um, Page 262. 262. You have to show that. I haven't been. I haven't been that far. You can go further. 262. Well, of course, because you're a synth guy, so it's all Page about seconds. LFOs and there isn't too much in uh, in our world. Of course, we have LFOs, but they're more just like a rate knob. They're not really labeled LFO, which I want to do a pedal that's not in there because it doesn't exist yet, uh, which would have a fully, very, very fully featured LFO cool. uh, and a full filter section. But uh, talking to some companies about it and no one dares to build it because they're all scared that it's too complicated. But there are some nice uh, LFO pedals, actually. But it's also, you know, yeah, I'm a synth guy, uh, Nobs, Scott is a guitar guy. So that's why we also, you know, having this field where we can invite in everyone inside, you know. You, if you have a drum machine, whatever, if you're just a drummer or if you're a bassist, whatever, actually you're playing. Jew harp, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Singer. Vocalist. Obviously, I mean, they're called guitar pedals, but the yeah. synth world is totally, uh, especially the modular synth world is uh, mm. uh, discovering them because what yeah. is a pedal? It's a modular block. Exactly, yeah. It's, the only thing is level. I think the synthesizer yeah. world, of course, works with instrument level, yeah. where, whereas we work with a guitar level. Uh, but as long as you have some kind of box to get the level happening, or just that's why we have, this. or just don't crank it up. <laughs> the different levels. Yeah, because there, there are, I, I think there are languages or terms that guitarists might not get as much as synthesists, and the other way around. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to level that. Language well, because also. we're much cooler. Well, we can talk together now without getting, <laughs> you know. Fighting. Well, we can. Have, that's the thing. We can get excited about pedals. Yeah, exactly. Maybe different ones, uh, mm. but I think we can probably get inspired from each other. Something that usually is more in the synth world. Trying to get that yeah. incorporated into a guitar rig could be really mm. cool. Mm. And uh, why, you know, maybe some synth guys are like, well, why, why do I need just a standard overdrive? And then maybe, yeah. well, you know, let's let let's see what that actually can do. Yeah. Um, there are many examples like putting auto bar on, you know, roads, whatever, keyboards. Well, yeah. the thing is, in the synth world, a guitar signal, what's coming from the string, mm. is a very pure kind of a sound. It's not yeah. sine, but it's it's close. It might be triangly. Triangle. It's definitely not a full harmonically rich tone. Mm. So in the synth world, they rarely only work with these pure sounds. They go and... Mm automatically have the harmonically rich tone, which is a uh, square wave or a sawtooth. And what is a sawtooth? Well, a sawtooth is what we would call a distorted sound. So for a synthesizer guy to get a distortion pedal is in some way pointless. Mm. Uh, not really, but he already has something on a synthesizer where he goes click, changes the, the, the waveform, and then you have the distortion. It's a very controlled kind of a distorted sound. So More harmonics. Yes, yeah. but if you want different kind of harmonics, of course, use a distortion pedal. But I think for a synth guy, they would have to understand if I want to add distortion to something, yeah. take down the complexity of my sound, mm -hmm. go to sine, go to triangle, and then add what the distortion pedal can give you. If you have a harmonically rich sound and then put distortion on it, then you're distorting distortion and then you're probably just asking for trouble. Probably. Um, we guitar players, what we have as a clean sound is something very simple. And we like distortion and fuzz and other things to make it a more complex sound to get to that kind of distortion. You look at a saxophone, which is kind of saw sawtoothy, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. It's also hollow, so it might lean towards like square wave somehow. I think oboe is more square. Yeah, uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, if I'm comparing, saxophone is more distorted than an oboe. So yeah, an yeah. oboe would be, would be square wavy, mm -hmm. whereas a saxophone to me is more like a sawtooth kind yeah. of a thing, if we if we speak in very broad terms. Yeah. So a saxophone is already 
distorting, which is, do uh, you, you guys know Apocalyptica? You might not. I think it's a Swedish band, and they play Metallica on cellos. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> but to me, the mistake they're making, wait a second, I'm going to check if they're still recording. The, the mistake that they're making is, I'm sorry, it's completely ridiculous. They think three, three or four cellos, mm-hmm. and they're distorting the cellos. Oh, yeah. Which is distorting an already distorted sound because a cello is not a simple sound. A uh, uh, violin is not a simple sound. What the bow does against the string, it creates a much more harmonically rich sound than a guitar that's plucked. Yeah, but the interesting thing is no matter how many harmonics you have, you can always, you know, tweak another set of harmonics out of what you already have. You could, the but the way they're doing it hmm. sucks. <laughs> because it, they, okay. just, they, they just take yeah. the cellos and they're distorting it probably through an amp. And what happens is you have a distorted sound that's mm. more distorted and out comes garbage. I think if they just played Metallica on cellos, they don't realize what I'm playing is already distorted. They're trying to be cool. Yeah. They're trying to be like, look, I'm distorting yeah. my cello. Whereas you have to realize what your base material is. Mm. What is the basic... Uh, how many content of the instrument you have. But also the dynamics, right? But that's where I've learned a lot from guitarists, you know, because you listen a lot more to the tone and, you know, the dynamics. Because as a synthesis, you just put down a chord and you have the effects built in maybe. So you have to listen a lot more to the dynamics of the playing and and what you can get out of it. You have, as, as a pianist, of course, you have dynamic control. Course, as, a, as, yeah. a, as a synthesis, less. Yes, there is, of course, dynamic control, but mm-hmm. it's something that you would have to want to add yeah. with an envelope uh, follower and stuff like this. So usually uh, it's more like an organ on and off, which gives you less expression. And then, of course, nowadays there's, let's go even further, you have the Roly and stuff, which is a lot of expression, if you know, what expression. you know what I'm talking about. You don't know. I'll be right back. <laughs> So I just look in the book. That's a really good book here to read. In. So it's these types of things. You know, if we're talking about synthesizers, this, uh, this little squishy thing. And um, you can actually, uh, this just, I don't know what this does. You push on it and then it lights up. It's a light. Um, it's a matrix, yeah. It's really nice. Um, can I follow that? Yeah. So, light shows. so with this, a synthesis actually has a lot of control going up and down and stuff. So uh, I actually saw... Uh, look, mom, no computer at TSR going because he likes his modular boxes, and this is MIDI. They took this Bluetooth into an iPad, took the MIDI information into a modular rack that took the MIDI into control voltage, and he used this to actually, with all the functionality and all the expression control, to trigger the analog synthesizers, which took a lot of ingenuity by the guy from Roly yeah. to make that happen, to take those continuous controllers, because this is a, a special control. This says note on, and that's usually what you have, and then note off, and how fast you're hitting it, that's the dynamics. But then this is a whole different controller, and probably the wiggle is a different controller. Um, and they actually translated that into control voltage, and he could play analog sounds with it. So there is, yeah. with something like this, Synthesis are getting closer to having yeah. the expression that we as a guitar player have. Definitely. Have you seen the video with the guy playing the big one of these, playing the Purple Rain? No. That's a really nice, I think it's a few years old. There, there really are nice. some, some ridiculous performances on these things, yeah. but uh, it's not about pedals, so forget about it. Okay. Um, yeah, but you can play that through a pedal. I mean, this video Definitely. and this book isn't just for guitar players, even though we're cooler. Exactly. We have a few guitar <laughs> players in there. But you know, we have stuff, you know, also to see where, where stuff come from. You know, like this. Oh, of course. You know. Um, wait, 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 what page are page you on there? Page 269. Yep. 269. Uh, 72. Ah, I gotta go back. Gotta go back. Here. Origin. Origin. That's the. Ah, so the tremolo comes from the 16th. Se- what? The 16th century? They already had a tremolo? Yeah, we're not the coolest. <laughs> and you know, you know how many dogs are in the book? How many dogs? Yeah, yeah, that's just... I would say zero. No, 
we need to, if people could guess it, they might win a book. Okay, we're not going to tell you, guess how many dogs are in the book. Yeah. Comment below. If you're correct, you win a book. <laughs> I, I, Where did that come from? Yeah, well, I, well there's, I, there are dogs in the book. Okay, well. I don't know if there's cats. That's more with sins, right? So. Now Kim lost me utterly. Um, the thing is, for me to have this on the table back there, that's amazing. I mean, what do I do? I do pedal reviews. What do I have? Hundreds of pedals. Who do I have on the on the couch back there? Do we have a couch? Yeah, let's see. Show the favorite cam. They have a couch and there's a table yeah. uh, on which right now is nothing pedal related. Um, well, and there will be. I mean, if I have guests, they're, they're just going to not even yeah. get up from their couch. They'll have something to do while you make coffee. <laughs> Or videos. That way they change don't they don't bug me in the videos. Yeah, sweater changing takes a lot of time here. I guess. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to add to the nice people out there that hopefully buy the book? Uh, Links below, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. It's 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 this is soft cover, right? It's gonna oh. be the same quality as uh, Push Turn Move and, and Patch and Tweak. So hard cover. And it's ah, so it's gonna be hard cover. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is just a review copy, and you're one of the first to show this. Okay. Actually. Uh, what can I say? I mean, there's so much stuff in there, like 50 interviews. It's just you can kill someone with it what. too. Yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely a weapon. You're right. So so and and some people want to have the whole trilogy. You know, all three books. This is nicer quality. The, the whole. Yeah, yeah. This is, is uh, in, 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 inside. Is it also like yeah. thicker stock? This is the print on demand. We just did, you know, to show it off early. So it's out like uh, late uh, late November. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like fresh paper. You can do that with a video. Look, even in the synth book, there's pedals. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take them all. I think we have some drum machines in here too, actually. That's one. That's one dog. He won't tell me. So there's at least one dog there's in there. One. Yeah. Someone guess how many dogs are in the book. You can win a pedal crush. Because he of can be on directly. So all your well, a lot of your uh, favorite guys are in there. There's, you know, Josh Scott and the Knobs dude. And it, it, many people contributed yeah. to this uh, interviews. But the book is thick enough to literally have something for everyone. If you want a little bit of history, it's in there. If you want overview, you want to learn stuff, it's in there. You want interviews with the creators, it's in there. You want to see a picture of Steve Vai, go on the internet or buy the book. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, available, definitely at Toman, definitely at Sweetwater, definitely from their website. I'll put links below. And uh, yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, and it's, you know, just keep your pedal crush alive. That's what it's about. As if they could stop it. They, they just watched a 25, 30 minute video about a pedal book. Whoever made yeah, it this far, yeah, yeah. they yeah. have an issue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, and they need maybe, this issue of the book. Do we have a helpline? <laughs> <laughs> Pe pedal <laughs> pedalholics anonymous yeah i think we have a disclaimer in the book because people are gonna want more pedals <laughs> uh, i often get blamed by my viewers like damn it you make yeah. me buy more pedals no no you could just not watch the video okay it's easy <laughs> i mean please watch the videos but it's not my fault mm. it really is kind of maybe my fault but um definitely yeah and yours too now yeah we enable us yeah yeah that's what we are but I mean, so many people ask you, what, what pedal should I get, right? And yours, what's the answer? I say, just watch the damn video. Because people go like, is it any good? I'm like, mm. watch the video. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. You just have to click on it. So read the book, watch the video, <laughs> yeah, buy it anyway. Ex exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, can you can never have enough. Right? With this book and my videos and Pete's and Rubia's and The Pedal Show and oh, Colin so. Scott and all these guys... Don't ask, just yeah. information's there. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Thank you, Kim, for stopping by. Kim I do more videos for pedals now. And um, you guys, uh, links below, all that stuff. And animals at the end. Whatever animals are at the end, do not count towards the dogs. We ask how many dogs are in the book, not at the end. Um, see ya. <laughs>
Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying Till the sun goes up My body's tired But my mind won't stop 